at some point we have to have that sort of moment of truth. Um, the fact of the matter is our trading partners functionally have created a tax arbitrage on U.S. exports and their exports. And if some of these folks have a better solution on how to, how to deal with the VATs being refunded as you know, products are heading to the United States, we'd love to hear it. But until there's a better solution, right now that adjustability seems to be you know, the most robust path to fixing the arbitrage. So you're walking around there in the, the halls of Congress right now. Could, could the Senate ever get 60 votes on any part of this provision, <laughs> or, or is it all going to have to be done some other way? Well, Look, as a member of the House, um, we live under the motto, um, the Senate is where all good ideas go to die. Right. Um, but, but the reality, we're on such a tight time frame. Um, remember, uh, the House Ways and Means, we intend to have a product at least moving um, by very early summer. So, so we're moving fast. Will the Senate also feel that same time pressure that we're working under? Yeah. Congressman, you know, the Democrats, as the party of fiscal responsibility and not running big deficits, you know you're not going to get anything through dynamic scoring because they've always been so, you know, watchful in terms of not overspending and overtaxing. I mean, be a little, it, suddenly they're, they've all found religion, and if you don't have this thing be exactly revenue neutral, I mean, there, there's just no way it's going to go. Yeah, sarcasm on Valentine's Day, it works, actually. <laughs> it actually works. Thanks. Um, look, look, if you actually have that, what we call the elevator conversation, where the door closes, there's no press, there's no fellow Democrats around, a number of them really like the things we're doing to focus on job creation, economic expansion, because there's a math reality that we, we don't talk en enough about, and that is the social entitlements, the uh, Medicare, the Social Securities, the you know, disability, those trust funds are functionally collapsing. If we do not start to have sustainable economic growth, particularly in payroll taxes, we have another wave of real hurt coming in the near future. So there's more going on here. This is as much about economic growth as it is also payroll and, and growth there. Well, I wonder if that's what President Trump, uh, if that's his eventual plan, because he's you know, sort of been MIA in terms of any type of entitlement reform or even, even facing the reality of the situation. But growth goes a long way. Maybe do that first and, and then tackle it later. Is that, is that what yeah. you think? Look, you, you have the formula. Um, we will have to at some point step up and deal with the reality of math. Um, but economic growth, particularly if it's um, economic expansion in, in payroll taxes, let's be brutally honest about it, that solves part of the problem. It covers up a lot of sins. So if we could actually get that moving, then we can actually sit down and start to understand what's the rest of our exposure. So where is it now with, with, in terms of, um, I mean, where's the corporate tax rate going to be? I mean, what's being written? Is, do we got to do the Obamacare? That, that's a daunting issue well, itself, Obamacare repeal. I mean, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't like to be in your shoes right now. It's just too much um, to do. I'm living on a lot of caffeine right now because um, this is intense. Um, the reality of it is Ways and Means, the House Ways and Means right now is full speed, almost seven days a week right now because there's constantly information flowing back and forth. So my understanding is this week we'll have a lot of um, you know, tax directors, corporate CEOs on campus. Some want to come talk about uh, border adjustability. Some are just giddy about expensing. Others, their model, the difference in tax rates. But you have to picture tax reform is a lot of levers. And if you raise or lower this lever, everything else also moves. And it, you have a lot of um, folks running around here who just want the sugar rush and don't want to deal with the reality of the calories. You know, if you choose one, you got to understand it affects everything else. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.